Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Nips here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Thor Rush with Karen Ray. So, I did skip a little bit ahead of this um, tutorial to skip the boring parts and it started a little faster. But anyway, let's get into it. So, it's gonna be a basic build. Always build your SUVs no matter what, just keep building them. At the 11, when I get supply block, I do build my um, my refinery so that I can immediately start getting that fast gas because you're going to need a lot of gas for this rush because Thors are exceedingly um, gas heavy. But it's a very basic opening other than the early gas. And so, yeah, so I put a drop of barracks down at the 11. So at the 12, I, sh I should get my my uh, barracks going on. So, I block off, you want to block off your base as fast as you can so that your enemy doesn't, you know, know what you're doing. You do not want your enemy to know what you're doing with this rush because if they see you have Thors, they're going to put down siege tanks around their base to protect their base and it's going to be nearly impossible to attack their stuff and it's, that's not cool when you built all that stuff doors and stuff and you're just like what the hell so I didn't I forgot to introduce the blue Terran opponent I'm the red Terran opponent obviously our blue Terran opponent is Doctor Who he's uh he's actually he got his his rush out really good like he got it pretty fast just around the same time or under actually he got it under uh under the time of when I got my first Thor out so if he attacked way earlier I would have definitely lost the game but anyway GG my friend Doctor Who better luck next time um so yeah so at the 17 drop your factory if you can because you should have been mining when you, your refinery is done so you should have got up enough um gas to start building that but Actually, if that's not an option to build it at 17, that is a requirement to build your factory at 17, because once that factory is done, you want to um, build an armory. So right there, when you're when, when you're um, done with your barracks, you want to start pumping out marines with the extra minerals you have. Also, get us, like I said, it's, an, it's a pretty standard Terran build in the beginning. Get a orbital at the 16. I got mine at the 19 because I was just too busy building SCVs. But as you can see, our opponent, he does not have a lot of SCVs. I have six more SCVs than he does, so I'm making more money than he is. But, I mean, not at this point, because I am actually spending it like a good boy would in StarCraft. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. I got my orbital out. I'm building my second factory. My first factory is getting Tech Lab up. I'm just slacking on those marines but you want to put those marines on a place to where they can snipe any like tr scouts trying to get in or marine pushes that are just trying to harass and stuff so i do scout him i see what he has and at that point i just think he's going for an all-in marine rush so i'm obvious like right there i'm thinking okay well he's probably just leaving those marines there to guard his base while he has like what like five marines out going towards my base with an ass load of SCVs, <laughs> and I'm just like, mm, that's not gonna happen, I'm just gonna keep building what I'm building. So as you can see, I get my armory out, my second factory is about to be done, still pumping those marines out, he has a mule out, so he's actually just gonna try and get fast minerals, so he can build more marines and marauders, but when you get enough minerals for Thors, you build those Thors, and when you get when you build your fourth Thor, you want to queue your factories and your barracks to the enemy's base. So as you can see, he's getting a, he's starting to get a tech lab, which means he's going to get um, marauders. So there I go, I'm dropping a tech lab right there, and I am building my first Thor. It's amazing. Life is good for me. I am happy. If I get attacked, um, that is going to be very unfortunate for me, because I do not have a... um. Any defenses other than those pitiful little marines that are just guarding my base. But even though I have those marines guarding my base, it's not going to be enough if you have like eight, ten marines trying to rape my base. So, 
that's why you just gotta hold off as best as you can in case he does, you know, indeed. So as you can see, what I what I see, I see that he already has a base up, he has an orbital defense or an orbital radar, and if you look what he sees, he sees nothing. So he can just expect anything. So he's trying to build whatever defenses he can for any type of like unit. Not, well, not really, but I guess anti-unit, he does have that one Marauder, I guess that'll help a little bit slowing down those units if he did upgrade them at all, but he does not upgrade them at all, and I'm just, I kind of sat there just like, what the hell is this guy doing? So I do scout again, I see that he, he did not actually push out, so I'm just like, thank god, I can actually get a Thor out in time. So right there, I do see that he is pushing out, I'm just like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, but I do have my Thor! I don't even care. I have a Thor. What do you have? Marines and Marauder. Notice how I said Marauder because he only has one. Sad face for him. So I'm just gonna keep pumping out the Marines. Now this is this is a really fail moment right here. What I'm about to do. I'm moving out right now. If you can see in the mini map, you can see my little red guys moving out. My Marines. So I do fail on two things: getting those SEVs to help my um, Thor out faster. And the fact that all those marines die in a perfect little line because of that fat freaking marauder right there. So here we go. How many marines can I see dying? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them died. That could help me a lot in the long run. But I don't care. Thor's like, I am here. It's time to rip a new asshole for these guys. So he's about to die, I'm just like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I do not want to lose this, he could push out in time, and I'm just like, oh, I just pulled one out of my ass right there, here I go. So I see that little marine there, he's just like, oh crap, I'm screwed, but I do reinforce my Thor rush with another Thor. So I'm just right here trying to show you that you always want to try and keep building your Thors, so there I go, building another Thor. Um, I don't show me constantly building those SCVs, but I do want to stress, keep building those SCVs, or else you're not going to win this. And one more thing, make sure you're not supply cap, because if you're supply cap, the enemy is just going to mash potato your butthole, because you can't produce enough units to defend your base or attack. So you're just stuck there with a few units attacking your base or defending your base, and you're just going to be like, oh, well, I'm just going to pull up in here really fast. So right now I scan his base just to see if he's like sniping me at all. I don't see those those air units, but I do see that bunker and I'm just like, oh crap. That bunker is going to rip me a new one. So I do attack it. That Thor unfortunately dies and the, af the one after him, but not as fast because that those SCVs are just kind of like hugging him, giving him more support. I don't see that siege tank until after that thing dies, so I'm just like, oh! So you want to play like that. So I'm just focus firing that Thor. I mean, Siege Tank. Right now, I'm just going at it at his base. He can't do anything about this. He can't stop it. I just have his hand on his face, and I'm just like, stop hitting yourself. So there I go. I'm reinforcing my rush, and I'm just like, ho oh, ho. I think I'm going to have fun here. Look at how many Marines this guy has queued. He's just in panic mode. I'm just like, I'm not going to let this happen. He does get out two marines though, but they instantly freaking die, basically. And I see another siege tank, I'm just like, stop it. Dude, you're losing already, I don't, I don't know why you're killing my Thor, that's not nice. So he, I get my second Thor, he's about to come into play here. But, yeah, he's not going to win this at all. But, uh, yeah. That's basically all you got to do. I... I don't know what else to say, but build your SCVs. It's a standard build in the beginning. And I hope you guys had fun with this uh, strategy. Anyway, guys, um, just want to say that this has been Nips, and you've been tickled. Goodbye.